Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop and welcome to another episode of Musical, Musical Mad, Mad Scientist. Scientist. We're gonna have some fun today. If you look behind me on the workbench, you see what appears to be a bunch of junk that doesn't go together. It might look like trash to you and there's an argument for that. But today we're gonna use this junk and we're gonna make a microphone. And uh, before I take too much credit for this, this was not my idea. I saw it on Instructables, okay? So um, that's where I got the idea and I'll link the Instructables link in the description below or you can just go to instructables.com and search for hula mic. That is what the article is called. But uh, I'm gonna make a few of my own little tweaks to it today, uh, but it's basically that same design. So let's look at the parts we're gonna need to build this here hula mic. So first things first, we've got a hula hoop. And there's nothing special about this. I got this one at Target, but uh, pretty much any toys and games kind of store is probably gonna have them. This is a 30 inch hula hoop. They do come in several different sizes. So um, I'm gonna use a 30 inch today. There are as small as 18 and as big as 36. So make sure you get a size, um, you know, that's gonna work good for you. But uh, that's what I've got today. And you also notice as I shake it, there's no noise. Some hula hoops have the little beads inside, so they sort of rattle as you shake them. Um, I would steer clear of those if you can, but if you can't, I would probably drill a hole and let those beads out because you don't want rattly things inside your microphone. Not a good idea. Anyway, you also might notice there's some blue painter's tape around the outside here. What that is for, I went ahead and did that prior to starting filming, and I just measured out quarters on uh, the hoop here, and that's gonna make it easier in a minute to place our binder clips. What? Binder clips? What is he doing? I guess I better show you the rest of the stuff. So I have here what looks to be a tray of trash. And uh, as, I, as I promised, we've got some binder clips. So you can see here, there are four binder clips here. And these four are the one and one quarter inch size. Binder clips come in a number of different sizes, but these are one and a quarters. Um, you know, you might need different sizes depending on the size of your hula hoop and such. Kind of might have to play it by ear, but uh, that's the, what I'm going to start with. Additionally, you see four smaller binder clips here, and these are the three quarter inch size. Okay, so we've got eight binder clips, and then we've also got eight of these little cords here, these little bungee cords. And um, you can find these at most hardware stores. You can even find these at a lot of office supply stores. And they're just little short, like eight, nine inch uh, bungee cords with the little small hooks on the end. And then of course, this tray itself is gonna be part of the microphone. I went for tacos the other night. This was the to-go box, trim the top off, and bam, this is gonna be our resonator for our microphone. Why not? We're also gonna need a couple of electronic components. I have here a 35 millimeter piezo disc. You can see this one has pre-soldered with leads, but I'm gonna cut those off because these aren't gonna be long enough, so it doesn't need to be pre-soldered if you don't have one like that. And then I've got a plain old quarter inch mono jack. Now you could use an XLR. If you look on the Instructables, they used an XLR for that, but uh, I'm just going to use a straight up uh, mono quarter inch jack for this. And you'll also need some wire to hook it up. And I've just got some standard wire here, a couple different colors, doesn't really matter as long as you can tell your positive from your negative. And then you're also going to, of course, need a soldering iron, which I've got back here on the bench and a hot glue gun, which I've also got back here on the bench. And I think that's about all we're gonna need to make this here hula mic. So let's get busy. Okay, so we've got our hula hoop here. And first things first, we're gonna take our large binder clips and we're just gonna put them right over those pieces of tape that we marked, or you may have marked it with a marker or whatever. And we're just gonna rotate and do that for all four. Okay, so now we've got our binder clips on our hula hoop. Let's set that off to the side for a second. Next, we're gonna take our resonator. Now again, I'm using this piece of a uh, to-go box, but you could use a styrofoam plate or a paper plate, or in the Instructables video, they actually use a clock lens. So, you know, whatever you want. But um, what you're gonna do here is just clip these four small binder clips all the way around the outside. So there we go. Now is where the magic happens. We're gonna take our bungee cords and we're going to put these between all of the binder clips like this. So just like that and repeat. Okay, so hopefully you can see this on the video, but we've got our eight cords just sort of strung into each other and then to the clips. So they just go all the way around the outside. And now the next step of what we're gonna do is we're going to try to suspend our resonator 
in the middle here, okay? So what we're gonna do is just hook these to the resonator. Okay, so there we have it. The resonator is now suspended from the bungee cords. So we're almost there. Okay, so, so next let's get the electronics ready. First thing I'm gonna do here is clip these leads off the piezo because we're not gonna need them. So, bam, those are gone. We can still use these two little solder blobs to put new leads on, but we're not gonna need this little red and black wire that we've got, so put those to the side. Now let's take our couple pieces of wire we've got here, and um, I'm gonna twist these together, and I am just gonna clip these right into the chuck. Okay, so you can probably see what I've done here. I just put the two wires into the chuck, and now I'm just gonna turn the drill on. And it twists them for me. Okay, so now we got a nice little twisted pair of wires. We can go ahead and release that from the drill. And there's our twisted wire. Let's go ahead and strip the ends and get them soldered onto the piezo. Okay, so there is our new piezo pickup. Let's go ahead and mount this on the resonator. Okay, so now you can probably see how this is coming together here. We've got this resonator suspended in the middle. And so as we sing, or whatever we're gonna pick up, it's gonna actually move that. And then we'll put the piezo on the back of this and that will pick up the vibrations. So. That's our next step. Let's go ahead and hot glue a piezo to the back of this. Okay, so our mic is really starting to take shape. You can see we've got a resonator on, we've got our contact pickup mounted, I've got the wire coming off here and I'm trying to figure out how to uh, mount the jack. And I did this off camera, sorry, but uh, I drilled a 3 8 inch hole right there through the bottom of the hula hoop. And I was like, oh, I can mount the jack there. But the problem is, look how thick the hula hoop is. You're not gonna get a jack that's gonna have a long enough shaft to go through that. So I've got an idea and it involves a Dremel. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I did here. I just notched, I drilled the hole through and then I notched out the back with the Dremel and just put the jack right in there. And the two little prongs are sticking out where I can easily hook up these wires. Now, one thing to note, that probably is gonna weaken the hula hoop there just a bit because you're taking out a lot of the strength when you take that out. So if you were really concerned about that, you could probably uh, put like a little piece of curved plastic or something on the top to kind of give it a little extra support. But I mean, honestly, this is a hula hoop microphone. Uh, I think, you know, kind of rickety is our starting point. So all soldered up, ready to go. And what we'll do is we'll just speak into the diaphragm here. Check, 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 check. And we should get a signal because the piezo should pick up the vibration of the styrofoam container. Let's give it a shot. Check one, two, check one, two, one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check. It's a hula mic check, a hula mic check. It's a hula mic check, check, check.